Almost everyone has hum along to the song Louis Louis by the Kingsmen. Now the former group member and Sarasota resident Yank Berry is spending his time feeding hungry people all over the world. SNN local news reporter Amber Stidham has more about his story and his recent Nobel Peace Prize nomination. After a successful career as a performer, songwriter, producer, and manager, Yank Berry is working to end world hunger one meal at a time. In 1993, he and Muhammad Ali began Global Village Champions Foundation, an organization providing meals to hungry people across the globe. Now, 20 years later, they've passed out nearly one billion meals. Sylvester Stallone, Reba McIntyre, Muhammad Ali, all names associated with success. And right next to them, Yank Berry. The former singer of the Kingsmen, the group known for the song Louie Louie, has made his way in the entertainment world as a performer, songwriter, producer, and manager. Now he can add another title, businessman. About 20 years ago, Barry teamed up with Ali to create Global Village Champions Foundation, an organization feeding hungry people across the world. But Ali, I really believe that in the next 20 years we could feed 1 billion people. And his eyes got this big um, because we've been friends so long and I wasn't, I wasn't promoting him here. He knew we could really do this. He said, I'm in. And we started in, in 1993. As of now, they passed up more than 950 million meals, close to their 20-year 1 billion meal goal. And that work has not gone unnoticed. For the second year in a row, this part-time Sarasota resident has been nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. And one of those nominations coming from boxer Manny Pacquiao. But Barry gives credit and thanks to Ali. Muhammad is just, he's just obviously the most recognizable and loved person in the world. They say athlete, loved person. And uh, yeah, I definitely, I owe, I owe it all to him. But Barry isn't just working to feed the hungry. He is also working with former world champion boxer Evander Holyfield to free Syrian refugees held in Bulgaria. Evander and I have been working very, very closely with the Ministry of Refugees and the Prime Minister of Bulgaria. Because, as you probably know, Bulgaria is not a wealthy country, but it's part of the EU. And we're getting them residency status. We're going to support them. When I say we, Global Village will support them. And the more people we can support, the more people we can set free. Barry says he still envisions a world without hunger. The Nobel Peace Prize winner will be announced in October. Global Village is also gearing up for another project in 2014, where they will visit several cities across the U.S. to feed the most needy. I'm Amber Stidham, SNN Local News. You can get more information about Barry and his work with Global Village at gogvc.com.